Ten years ago, few imagined that these red notes, adorned with the revolutionary's face, would one day go global. Yet China's currency, the renminbi, has emerged from the shadows of strict communist rule to become a growing force in trade. Here in Hong Kong is where it all began. In 2009, China launched a pilot program allowing Chinese companies to settle cross-border trade in renminbi. Today, the currency accounts for 9% of China's total trade with the world. That compares with almost nothing three years ago. An early adopter of renminbi is Hong Kong-based conglomerate Jardines Matheson. The currency makes up only a tiny portion of its total trade with suppliers on the mainland, but Antony Nightingale reckons this will change. Well, I think the main benefits really come because, uh, after all, sellers in China are incurring most of their costs in renminbi. So if they can sell in renminbi rather than in a foreign currency like the US dollars, they should be able to offer you the most attractive rates because they're not having to add anything on to manage their foreign exchange exposure. Bankers say foreign companies can get discounts of as much as 4% from their Chinese suppliers if they pay in renminbi. Chinese companies also prefer being paid in their own currency as this removes foreign exchange risk and payments can be processed faster. This was key for IKEA, which in 2009 switched to renminbi intercompany invoicing in China. We have a highly centralized global treasury operation run out of Europe and the changes in the Chinese regulations allowed us for the first time to actually transfer the foreign exchange risk uh, in our supply chain to our global treasury. We can transfer the foreign exchange risk into a part of the company that is trained and developed to actually manage that risk, whilst uh, uh, in China they need to focus on the things they can influence, and one of the things they cannot influence is the exchange rate, of course. China is often compared to Japan. At the peak of its economic boom in the 80s, nearly 40% of Japan's trade was settled in yen. But Michael Vontimidis at Standard Chartered says the renminbi is better positioned to exceed this figure. I think the story around renminbi and, and is very different from Japan. Uh, China has started the, the internationalization of their currency around a trade settlement currency. And what that enables uh, the, the, the currency to do is be used in day-to-day -day transactions and become a, a currency for real trade. So now, not only can you do renminbi transactions, but the but the documentation is a little bit simpler. You don't have to, you can, you just send in the invoice and get it paid rather than having all the backup documentation. The ability for straight through processing, the ability for speed of transaction goes up or even putting a transaction in, in the future. You know you're going to pay on the 25th and you can put in the documentation in now. Many hurdles remain. For a start, companies are reluctant to use a currency that's not fully convertible. Another concern is that the offshore renminbi market is small with limited tools to hedge currency risk. Here in Dongguan, China's manufacturing hub, factory managers such as Willy Lin still settle trade primarily in dollars and euros. Simply, the customers at this moment, my own international customers still prefer, um, they don't know much about RMB cross-border transactions. Um, they're still very conservative, um, and especially on their forward booking. They're still confident with booking US dollar and Euro, these two currency. Because in European customers, if they buy, they have a fixed six months for a booking, they know exactly, oh, this is where I calculate. But for RMB, they really have no clue how to deal with it at this moment. China's drive to internationalize the renminbi has got off to a promising start. But the currency still accounts for less than 1% of global payments. For this number to rise, China must further loosen capital controls. China has a long way to go before the renminbi becomes as globally recognized as the U.S. dollar. Denise Law, FT China Confidential, Dongguan.